Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my February TBR. I'm currently standing and my face is wet because I was just about to go to bed. Um, I had already filmed this. This is actually my fifth time filming this. I don't really know what's happening to my SD cards. I think my camera may be corrupting them. I'm not really sure. I don't know. If you guys know anything about that, please let me know. Um, because I have no idea, but I filmed this again, this is my fifth time. So I'm getting a little bit frustrated and um, this is just gonna be the last try. If it doesn't go through, then it doesn't go through and you guys aren't getting a February wrap up. Yeah, we're going to go through all the books that I read in February. Um, sorry if I'm not high energy, I'm just really frustrated again. And I'm not meaning to put that energy out there. It's just the truth. I'm gonna say the books and I'm gonna pull it off my shelf that you guys are standing on. Uh, which explains this like awkward angle. I'm also back home um, And as you can see there's my suitcase and um, Yeah, anyways, okay The first book I read was redeeming love by Francine Rivers. I rated this one five stars I actually borrowed it so I don't have a physical copy. This book was so good and made me cry It was such a good first read of February. The book was so good. It's a retelling of um, Hosea, which is in the Old Testament and it was just really good. Even if you're not Christian, I would recommend it because it was a beautiful love story. Um, and also just like shows you like the grace of God. And I really appreciated reading it and I really liked it. And there's also a movie that came out about it. So if you're into movies, um, cheesy like romance movies, maybe watch that one. It might be a good pick. The next one I read is actually a Colleen Hoover and that's Reminders of Him. This came out um, in January. So I was super excited to read this one. This one, five stars. Um, I'm also just noticing that the H is broken up. I didn't even realize that <laughs> until just now. Um, but yeah, rated this five stars is beautiful. Colleen Hoover's amazing um, as you guys I'm sure you guys know that, um, but if you didn't, she's amazing. Maybe going out of order of what I read things in, so if I am, you guys can just uh, follow my Goodreads or story graph. It'll be um, in the link below or the description box below. But I think the next one I read was Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. This is a Reese's Book Club. So excited to read this. I wanted to read it in the summertime, but I ended up reading it <laughs> this month, obviously. It was a beautiful romance. Commentary was top tier, set in 2019. Um, so just like very socially accurate, uh, apart from the COVID pandemic. Um, yeah, super good. I loved it. Beautiful. Next book I read was actually my nonfiction and that was Emily Retta Jeffs. He's my body. I rated this one four stars. It was really good. Um, I think if you're interested in hearing about like her own story relating to like her feminist views and like introductory feminism, I'd recommend this one. I interrupted. I think I left off with My Body by Emily Ratajkowski. The next book I read was The Other Black Girl by Zakia um, Neal. Dahlia. <laughs> Zakia N Dahlia Harris. Um, this is like a contemporary fiction, I think. Thriller. Like somewhere on here it says uh, Devil Wears Prada meets uh, Get Out. And I feel like that's pretty accurate. Anyways, I rated this one three stars. It wasn't exactly my vibe. I liked it though. Anything rated above three stars is fine with me. I would definitely read reviews on like Goodreads and stuff. I thought it was good. I just like the, the plot twist or like the ending came out of nowhere for me. So that was, I think, what put it down to a three stars. But yeah. Um, I did tab it. Commentary was top tier. Again, it was kind of set in like the 2018-2019 sphere. Um, so pick this up if you're interested. Next, I wanted to read another um, Colleen Hoover. So I read Confess and it is actually so similar to Reminders of Him. If you guys have read either one, I would recommend uh, reading the other one if you enjoyed it. Um, again, Colleen Hoover, five stars. This one was actually published in 2015. Um, and it's just crazy to see like how much her writing has improved, but also like how good it was back then. Um, yeah, I like this one. I thought it was cute. I think I actually cried for this one too. Um, so definitely recommend. After all those romances, I wanted a thriller. So I read The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. I rated this one three and a half stars. It was good. It was a little like not like it wasn't like oh my gosh i need to figure out what happens of course like i kind of expected the way it ended i thought it was good though i really liked our main character jane um and i think it's a jane Eyre like retelling in a way um which is kind of cool i've never read jane Eyre. i actually own the book i just haven't read it um so maybe when i read that i can compare 
compare the two um but yeah i liked it second to last one is a contemporary fiction by eve babbitt it's sex and rage i thought this book was good I rated it four stars i actually thought this was a non-fiction book but it is fiction and it's very similar to sally rooney and the fact that i feel like both of them write a story that has no plot and i mean that in the best way that is not a diss it is just that their story pertains to the character's life and that's it like it's not it's just like who is this character what are they doing in their life what are they gonna do what are they thinking and i think that's very interesting i personally enjoy it um so yeah four stars i liked it i specifically like this one because it was about an la beach girl writer new york type of girl and i liked it last book i read in february and this has been on my tbr since january i think i guess i guess that's not that long actually i think i was very uh, I was really excited to read this just for a few months, and this is You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogle. I don't know who recommended this to me. I probably saw it on the internet somewhere. Um, contemporary romance, um, enemies to lovers, kind of. Um, the two characters actually start off engaged, which I've never read a story like that, so it was super interesting. Rated this one four stars. I liked it. Romance was cutesy. Um, yeah, four stars. I had a really good reading month this month, um, or last month. Um, hopefully you guys are seeing this. It is the last chance. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I will talk to you guys very soon. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can see my March TBR in this video up here along with a book haul and a bookstore vlog. I, I recommend watching it. But yeah, that's going to be it. I will see you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys.